Hello fellow artists and welcome back to another video. So today we have the scroll box which is number 95 I think. It feels pretty lightweight. But yeah, let's just open it. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. So these are the supplies which I'll look at in a second. This kind of looks a little bit like the... Oh, what's it called? The previous box that with the Ecoline markers kind of has a similar feel. Then we have the print. Oh my gosh, look at that print. That is absolutely amazing. So the artist is S S Steph Parado, I think that's how you uh, say it. Let me just turn the brightness up a bit. Again, and then we have some watercolour paper. So that, that's kind of giving it away, I guess, as to what it is. And I absolutely love this pattern inside. That is really cool. That's a lot better than the, the plain, I guess. So yeah, I like that. Yep, so let's see what kind of watercolours they may be, if it is watercolour. Ooh, so this is the sticker. Come on camera. There we go. I really like that. I think they picked a really good uh, place on the <laughs> print to have that as the sticker. We have a watermelon sweet, which I won't be having. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, now if you know me, I'm a huge fan of Viviva colors. Now, Look at the, oh wow. So they've done like a scroller box special. And these are the colours and then we can swatch them on this little card. I'm a big fan of Aviva colours. I often use them in my artwork, so we got those. We also got a Fiber Castell Pit Pen. Yeah, I need to fix my camera, it's really struggling to focus. And then we have, ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a postcard. Very pretty postcard. This art style is amazing. So yeah, you can uh, send that to somebody if you like. I don't often send postcards anymore. I feel like that's not really used much. And then we have a scroller box brush, an angled brush. So yeah, they're the things that were included. Very cool, very nice. I'm excited to get these going. So. I think what we'll do now is we will look through the zine. So let's see here. Number 95. And then it always gives you a list of all the contents that are included. All right, so if we want to find out how much these prices cost um, and the list about the supplies, they've now included a small little uh, QR code where you can, you know, uh, find the prizes and everything so yeah oh this is the artist Stephanie Parado I think that's how you pronounce it and these are some of her artworks absolutely gorgeous wow and then some tips on how to use the watercolors oh wow oh my gosh I, I'm so excited about this box. Right, let's see if we can see anybody that I know in here. Ooh, Annie's in there again, Annie Helberg. Anybody else I know? Oh, Rachel's in there. Congratulations, Rachel. Wow. Okay, and then they always have a separate page for top three. That's incredible, honestly. I'd never be able to do anything like that with those those Ecoline markers. I actually really struggled with with that box. And yeah, and we're back. I've got my oversized hoodie on. <laughs> so yeah, I think what we should do is give these a good old swatch, and we'll be using the the brush as well. I cannot wait to see what type of colours these are. So let's zoom 
right in and probably put it there actually let's turn the brightness down a bit i forgot water one second here we go so i'm guessing this is the right way around let's get this brush a little bit there we go so this is supposed to be cinnamon kind of like a skin color isn't it then we have mango I'll never be able to keep inside the lines, but hey, hey ho. Oprah? Kind of looks like a fuchsia colour. Interesting. Go, there's a bug there, just got rid of it. <laughs> then we have alizarin crimson. That word always reminds me of Bob Ross, <laughs> bless his soul. Viridian hue. And then we have deep blue. Oh God, I love all blue colors. Then we have violet. See, on the, on the sheets themselves, it all looks black, but the Definitely not. Oh, look at that. Got a little purple. And then burnt umber. There we go. So they're all the colours swatched. And actually this on this side is a mixing palette. So you can mix different colours. But there we go see if I can get a close-up actually and obviously they'll probably look different when they dry but yeah very nice I think that pink will look a lot better when it's laid again with the same color so now we have the colors swatched on the swatch sheet I want to try it on this scrawler box uh, paper wait is this hot hot pressed because we want to test out the pen as well I have used a lot of these before the point colours. So I'm just gonna zoom in. So this is the fiber pastel and it's in medium which is 0 0.7. Right, so I've just thought I could probably use this page and do like some thumbnails, like thumbnail sketches so I can, maybe I could choose out of three of them. So when it comes to quest and adventure, there's a lot of things that we could do. So you could have a character that's traveling, so I don't know, a, a balloon, um, Let's see, maybe like a hot air balloon and then like a, a basket thing like this and then I could have my original character echo in because I, I can actually pretty much draw him how I like but obviously he's really small here so I'm not going to get the exact same thing because I can't really draw small. Yeah, we could have echo inside of the little air balloon. Obviously I'm gonna have to draw this air balloon very much bigger than this because <laughs> it is a pretty small balloon. Yeah and then we could have some like separate colours and then obviously I'm not sure of a basket what a basket looks like but we can just sketch it in like that and maybe have some buildings that, that he's going over. And then maybe a star sky or something like that. Kind of like that one. And maybe we could colour it at, at, at some sort of colours using these, I guess. But I don't have a grey, so I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do. Echo, I guess. We could also maybe draw 
yeah, I think I want to stick with Echo. You know, because I, I, I feel like I'm comfortable draw, drawing him. So he could have a, a, a backpack, maybe. And maybe maybe he's traveling, and these are his hands. I don't think his hands will be pointing down though. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and there could well obviously his little things are there, and his clock watch. And then we'd need a backpack. But I kind of think I want it to be like a multi backpack where it's a lot bigger. And it comes above his head. <laughs> Something like that. And then like lots of stuff attached to it. Obviously, we could make this a lot bigger. Very cool, and then he's probably looking this way, like that. And then I'm not sure about what, what to do with the background, maybe just some... Nah. <laughs> I'm not sure, maybe something like that. And then maybe it could be a night sky and then the moon's here, travelling at night or something. So I kind of like that one. Hmm, now, what could another one be? What could he be doing? Interesting. It is pretty tricky to think of something. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, we could have the back of him. Maybe he's, look he's looking at a map. So, let's see here. Maybe his back of his head, and then side of his head, and then obviously his hand is here. I've got to see how you would use your hand to probably hold mm, something like that, maybe a bit 3D ish. I actually don't know what's at the back of his head, to be fair. It's kind of just, and um, then maybe we have like an X marks the spot that could be in red. And then maybe you are here. Yeah, maybe something like that. But then you're only seeing the back of his impressionistic work here going on. <laughs> and then obviously some stars and stuff. That's not how you draw them, but never mind. And then obviously this is just the back of him, so there's nothing there. So yeah, they're the three sort of thumbnails that I've made. Hopefully you can see them. <laughs> Oh, it's really difficult because I kind of like I kind of like them all in some way. I'm probably not as much of a fan of this mapping one, but at least it was an idea. And I'm not quite sure, so it could put number one, number two, number three. I could do like a separate video as a poll, and then you can let me know which one you prefer in the comments down below, and I will do that for the challenge. Possibly. I don't know because I feel like I could do it all in one video, but I cannot decide between them which one I like the best. And I feel like it might be really good to dedicate a whole video to my illustration process. And I know probably most of you would love to see me, you know, do it in this video, but I think I want you guys to comment on which thumbnail you want me to make. And I'm also going to try and mix some of these colours on this mixing palette just to show you what it's like. So maybe we could mix these two. Hopefully that makes like a, a dark purple. Well, we already have one, but turquoise. Yeah, that looks turquoisey. Like a dark turquoise, so we could use that for the bushes or something. Maybe blue and blue and something. But I can't quite think. Ooh, that makes like a sage. So we've got a lot of options for like trees, tree life which is really, really good. Now I'm gonna show you 
that you can just like rub this off. It does come off really well. I say that and it probably won't, but I am pretty certain because it does come off. Some of the others. I'm back. So yeah, if you just run it under the tap, it disappears. Which is amazing, <laughs> really, isn't it? Because so you've got like a consistent palette all the time. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a separate video for the challenge because I want to dedicate a lot of time to doing it and I don't really have much time today. I've, I'm quite busy today, so yeah. Leave a... wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, so leave a comment in the description box. Should I do a thumbnail one? Thumbnail two with his giant backpack? Or thumbnail three where he's looking at the map. So yeah, one, two, or three. Yep, so that's pretty much it for this scroller box unboxing and test. I'm 100% gonna do a full on dedicated video to this challenge because I feel like I can do it justice if I take my time. And yeah, let me know what you think of the box in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment down below what you think, share with your friends, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time with another video. Okay, bye bye.